Assalamualaikum. So today we will discuss the arteries of the upper limb along with the anastomosis around the elbow joint and the wrist joint. So uh, this is the humerus, this will be the radius, this is ulna, this is the interosseous membrane, these are the carpal bone, these will be the metacarpal and these will be the phalanges. So th this region will be supplied by the brachial artery, this side will be by the radial artery and this side will be by the ulnar artery. So first of all we will discuss the brachial artery. So the brachial artery originates from the axillary artery. As this axillary artery will pass through the inferior border of teres major muscle. This is teres major muscle. And this was axillary artery. And as it passes to the, this point, it will change into the brachial artery. Now it is continuing at the brachial artery. And this brachial artery will continue till the cubital fossa, where it will divide. And at this cubital fossa, it will divide into the radial artery on this side. And ulnar artery on this side. Here it will become the brachial artery. So now we will discuss the. So now we will discuss the branches of the brachial artery. So the first branch it, it will give, which will be the profunda brachii. This profunda brachii this will originate and then it will move posterior to this bone humerus. It will originate and it will move posterior to. So now I am showing it as a posterior, okay? It will move posterior laterally, means posteriorly, and then it will move on the laterally. Posterior laterally to move inferiorly, and then it will divide into two branches the radial, radial collateral and the middle collateral. Then the second branch which, which the brachial artery will give is the nutrient foramen to, to the nutrient foramen. Here will be the nutrient foramen in the middle or the medial surface and it will give the branch to the nutrient foramen that will supply the in, inside of this bone. Then the third branch it will, it will give will be the superior ulnar collateral. It will be this branch and then it will give the inferior ulnar collateral branch so these are the branches of the brachial artery we will first label them and then we will continue to next this was profunda brachii this was a middle collateral and this was radial collateral Similarly, this was superior ulnar collateral. And this was inferior ulnar collateral. Now, these artery, this will be the radial artery, it will move inferiorly like this and this ulnar artery will also move inferiorly like this. This was the radial artery and this was ulnar artery. So now we will first complete this anastomosis around the elbow joint. So the ulnar artery, the first branch of ulnar artery will be the common interosseous branch. This is what? This is the common interosseous branch. And this common interosseous branch, it will then divide into the anterior interosseous and the posterior interosseous. The posterior interosseous which will move posterior to the interosseous membrane and this will be the anterior interosseous that will move anterior to the interosseous membrane. Okay. And then it will give posterior ulnar recurrent and the anterior ulnar recurrent. The anterior ulnar recurrent, it will anastomose with the inferior 
ulnar collateral anterior to the medial malleolus and this will be a posterior ulnar recurrent okay it will associate with the superior ulnar collateral branch here the radial artery will give the radial recurrent which will associate with the radial collateral and then this posterior interosseous it will give the recurrent interosseous branch this will be the recurrent interosseous one that will anastomose with the middle collateral so now we will label these first this was posterior recurrent ulnar recurrent means it was posterior to the medial malleolus and this will be anterior ulnar recurrent it was anterior to the medial malleolus similarly this was the recurrent interosseous and this was the radial co radial collateral radial recurrent sorry recurrent and this it was giving the common interosseous this was anterior interosseous mean it is moving post anterior to the interosseous membrane and which is moving posteriorly it, it will be posterior interosseous now these anterior and posterior interosseous will then unite inferior to this interosseous membrane like this and they, they will become the posterior interosseous okay these are traveling inferiorly till the wrist joint here this ulnar artery it will give the palmar carpal branch and the dorsal carpal carpal branch this will be the palmar carpal branch and this will be the dorsal carpal branch similarly this the the interosseous the, the posterior and the interosseous membrane they will also participate anastomose with this dorsal carpal branch and the dorsal carpal branch will also come from the radial artery like this and these three will anastomose and similarly one palmar carpal branch will come from the radial artery and these both will also anastomose here this was the palmar carpal this is occurring at the wrist joint okay and this was dorsal carpal and same as the name of these two okay then this ulnar artery and the radial artery they will first anastomose to give the deep palmar arch what will be this this is deep palmar arch and ulnar artery will itself then form the superficial palmar arch there are two arches here like this the deep palmar arch is mainly formed by this radial artery and superficial palmar arch is formed only by the ulnar artery i will label them here this will be deep palmar arch this will be superficial palmar arch. now first we will discuss the branches of the superficial palmar arch of the which is formed by the ulnar artery so this superficial palmar arch will give then give the common palmar digital arteries to these metacarpal which will then divide into the proper palmar like this it will give common palmar digital artery here here and here and these will then divide into the 
proper palmer digital art which will move on both side of these phalanges like this we will label it these that these were the common palmer digital digital arteries and these were these were all the proper palmer digital now this d palmer arch it, it will first give the princeps policies which will supply this thumb and this princeps policies will same divide into two branches like this and this d palmer arch will also give the radialis indices branch which will uh, supply this index finger finger the lateral side like this okay it will supply like this we also label the, this was the princeps policies and this was radialis indices and now this d palmer arch will then give the palmer metacarpal arteries which will anastomose with these common palmer digital arteries means to say it will give branches here and these will anastomose with it like this i will make a star then i will write the name on this side means to say this star was the palmer metacarpal artery arteries means to say that the, it, it will give three palmar metacarpal artery this d palmar arch which will anastomose with these common palmar digital arteries so this is whole the blood supply of uh, the upper limb now we can easily draw the anastomosis like if, if the question came in the exam of the anastomosis around the elbow joint then we will have to draw from this point till this point we will have you have to draw this and if the question came about around um, about the anastomosis on the wrist joint then we will draw from this to this so now i will also make a video regarding this axillary artery and the anastomosis around the scapula inshallah in the next video thank you